Hello, welcome back to the channel. Now a slightly different approach this time. I'm going to take my time painting this next one rather than knocking a painting out in half an hour. This is going to be over two, three, four, five days, however long it takes. I'm hoping three videos, three days, hope so. But anyway, I've just painted phase one, so I've done the, the base layer, which is a sky and a sea. So it's going to have the sea with a row of World War I battleships sailing towards us. That is the plan. So watch me paint part one here. So without further ado, let's do some painting. Hello, welcome to my latest video. Hope you're keeping well and all that jazz. I did this painting um, a few months ago on a bit of um, chipboard, I suppose it's called, and it had some writing on it um, before I sanded it down and painted on it. But unfortunately, the writing has actually come through the paint as it's dried. It's now fully dried, so instead of trying to patch it up i'm just going to go over the whole thing and do a new painting now size wise i'll just get my um, yardstick which is kind of balanced precariously above my head which is an accident waiting to happen because i can't remember what size it is it's reasonably big it is i can't see the bloody uh, writing 33 by 16 inches, 17 inches, thereabouts. So 33 by 17, we'll call it. I'll try and put the yardstick in its house out of the way because I keep losing it. So I've got it balanced on some hooks on the ceiling of my studio. So, anyway, uh, yeah, the plan. I've been doing lots of preliminary sketches of um, World War One battleships, you know, pre-dreadnought sort of ships. I've done loads of them. Um, I also painted, oh God, let me try and reach for it across my studio. It weighs a bloody ton. I painted that. Go on, I'm knackered, it weighs a load, uh, which I'm really pleased with. So I thought I'd do another one. Um, and this one's gonna to go to the end gallery. It's going on exhibition. But um, I'm going to do another one like that. So I'll just carefully pull it back. There's a this way of pulling this on. And I'd hate to drop it on its face or something silly like that if it's going to the gallery. I've also got, oh God, worn out after that. That's my fitness quote of the year. Also got a reference photo as well to uh, assist me a bit. So anyway, that... All done and said and everything. I'm going to get my palette cam turned on. It's the same colours, same setup as yesterday. Um, but if you know, if you first time new to the channel, or whatever, might be useful to see. So I'll set my palette cam up and I'll show you what's on my palette. I'll be back in a second. Right. I hope my palette cam is on because I can't actually see it. Um, if it isn't on, this will be a waste of time. So anyway, my glass palette, I've got some sort of sludgy green colour just there, which I'm going to use, I don't want to waste it. Um, that was made with Indian yellow and ultramarine blue, all mixed up. I've got this sort of grey colour um, mixed with burnt umber and um, ultramarine blue. I've got my ultramarine blue there, of course, and a bit of titanium white. So what I'll do, I'm just going to separate some of that titanium white. Oh, I'm still worn out after lugging that paint in about just then. Yeah, shows how fit I am. Anyway, I'll just mix that in, make a nice sky colour, a bit more titanium white probably. There we go. And we'll see what we can do. Um, in the middle, I might plonk some linseed oil in. Just there, just to act as a medium, and we shall get going. So I'll get my main camera, my face camera turned back on, 
and I will see you in just a second. Right then, my cameras are on and we're ready to rock and roll biggity biggity bong. So the plan is I'm going to, this is going to be about two or three videos to do one painting, possibly even more. So this will be part one of however many. So what I'm going to do, I'm just, I'm going to get the sky on and do a, a basic C. Now we've got a basic C already, we've got a horizon. And I'm just going to exploit that a bit. So I'm not, I don't do, do too much on the sea, but I'm going to get a sky done. So tomorrow or whenever my next video is, I'm going to start, you know, plotting out the ships and doing the ships and things like that. The important thing is getting the sky on and done so the ships can go on top. So I'm not fiddling about trying to catch the sea up with the, the masts. I don't want to do the ships first because you'll you'll end up with halos around the ships, you know, as I try and work the sky and it's far too fiddly. So that's that. So right, get my uh, flat brush for my light tones and just get some of this blue I mixed. I might even plonk a tiny bit of that green in as well. You can have whatever colour you want in the sky, I suppose. I hope this writing here doesn't come through again. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, it probably does. But I'm, I'm hoping to get a ship done or get this painting done without the writing popping through in a few months time, which will be quite disastrous. But hopefully with another layer or so of paint on, it won't happen. But I will tell. Um, as I let it dry, you know, when, when I eventually finish it in two or three days' time, or whenever I finish it, um, I'm going to let it dry and just monitor it and keep keep an eye on that writing, make sure it doesn't pop through. Because I'd hate for some, I mean, not that anyone would, but I'd hate for someone to end up buying it from me, and then six months' time, the writing appears on the living room wall, So I might have to give it a few months before I uh, sell it to anybody. Or sell it with a disclaimer, but we'll see. Quite a nice chipboard this, it's got some lovely texture to it. Oh, my fun holiday in uh, about three weeks' time. Now, don't laugh. Um, I'm going on holiday about um, six miles down the road from here. But, you know, cut long story short, my mum's coming over, she's booked a hotel and, you know, she's booked a room and I'm going to stay with her for two or three days, which I'm looking forward to. It'll be really nice. Anything to, you know, get out of here. I mean, not the studio, I love my studio, but the rest of it. be nice just to get away. I saw that um, a couple of weeks ago, um, you know, my dad were there as well. They came over for their biannual break and uh, went to a pub on Anglesey, which, which we love it, we adore it. Um, the name of it escapes me, but it's, it's a nice pub. And um, whenever we go, we always go early, you know, so we get a good table outside and everything like that. And it, it, when we get there, it tends to be short and we get there 10 minutes before opening. 
But uh, we were quite early this time, and we were about 20 minutes early, so we had to wait. And um, now I've been going there for years, but I think I've only ever been in there once. Um, and I certainly haven't been in before when it was just open. But whenever we went, and this time was no exception, you get cars dropping elderly people off. You know, all the walking sticks and walking frames and all this, and it, it takes an eternity to get out of the car. You know, because they're like this, trying to stand up, and they can scarcely walk, and they've got walkers and things. So they all get out of the cars, and they sit outside, the pub waiting for it to open and me and my dad were waiting so we were going to go in I was going to you know ferry drinks backwards and forwards so we, we were waiting and there's all these I was going to say biddies then all these elderly people waiting for the pub to open and The, the second they heard the latch go in this pub, they bolted. They, they were like shit off a Teflon shovel. It was like, it was like a, you know, 100 metre dash in Olympics. Le Mans 24 hour start, you know, they, they absolutely legged it, literally. Now, considering their mobility isn't amazing the rest of the time, and perhaps they can't hear so well, by God, they've got ears like bats to be able to hear the latch. Because as soon as the latch went, they were a stampede. That bloody Grand National. Which was funny. <laughs> but yeah, it was an absolute bloody fee for all, you know. But, um, you know, these elderly folk must do it every single day. Must go to the pub every day or every Sunday or whatever and just live for doing that. Never seen anything like it before. <laughs> but it wasn't to get to the bar. They, they were just going to their, you know, claiming their seats they've been sitting on for the past 60 years. You know, they just went, just dispersed in the pub and just aimed for their usual seats before anyone else got them. Me and my dad were fine, everyone had scattered and the bar was, you know, free. So we, we, we just went straight to the bar because of course we were sitting outside. But God, it, it was like, um, what's that Friday thing we have at Christmas? Is it Black Friday or something stupid like that? Which I don't engage in, I just, couldn't be bothered with it, I just stay at home. Where, you know, people climbing over each other. It was like that. Thought the riot were gonna break out. I have never seen a group of people in the nineties shift so fast. Right, anyway, I was banging on, bit of sky going on. There's uh, quite a few, because it, it's chipboard, there's, there's loads of specks where the paint hasn't fully covered the area, but I don't think that matters too much. It kind of adds to it, it gives it a bit of texture, a bit of interest. So yeah, not a bad sky. Um, I'm going to take my time with this one, I'm not doing it a la prima like I usually do, you know, it takes me 20 minutes and done a painting. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag this one out a bit. But we've, you know, just about covered the writing, which is the crucial bit. Uh, I might put some greys up here as well. Give me some hands as well. I haven't got gloves on today, I'm not out. So apologies for not using gloves.
Oh, I'm using my lighter brush for the darks there, but never mind. Never mind. I'll clean it later anyway. Just make some nice cloudy effects. Get me brush for the darks. But yeah, it was, it was lovely lunch we had when we were out, it was really nice. I tend to go for um, prawn butties and chips if I'm having lunch. Yeah, again, I was laughing about the elderly people, but I suppose I'll be like that one day. Not far off, really. But... <laughs> Right, basic sky done. This might be a quick session until the main fun begins. When I start doing the ships then that takes uh, takes a while to do. So one bit of a sky, very simple. Don't want to make the sky too dark. I, I feel the last painting was a bit dark. You know, the last ships I did. So there we are, a bit of a sky. We'll do for now. Um, I might come to, come back to it tomorrow or the day after or whenever. Just, uh, just give it a chance to, to catch, you know, to, to rest a bit, you know and then get back to it. So this sea, um, just give me a brush a quick one nip. It's quite nice as it is. It's not bad. I dare say I might even leave it, but we'll see. Time will tell. Now I'll go for it. You know, I'm going to do ships. I'm determined. So I'm going to get some of this grey colour just plonk it here for the sea. I'm going to leave that little bit of blue there if I can. Well, I itch my eyebrow. I've got a bit of ultramarine blue as well gone in there. So next time, you know, I'm just going to, you know, with a pencil or whatever, just plot out the lines. I'm going to get the proportions right and things. But that is a start. We're definitely there. So um, short and sweet. It's just the first layer, if you like, before carry on with the rest. So there we go. Um, that's it. I, you know, I'm not going to do any more than that. I'm not going to rush it. It's going to really take me time. So thank you so much for watching. Um, part two of this, excuse me, lunch is repeating on me. This ship video, do care for what I say, will be very soon. So uh, I'm just going to leave this to settle for the next day or two and do part two and start adding ships and various other bits and pieces. So there we go. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to get notificationated, hit that bell thing. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.